Now, the outlawed Basque separatist movement, ETA, has announced an unconditional ceasefire. In a video message obtained by the BBC, ETA says it wants to pursue Basque independence from Spain by democratic means. Europe correspondent Philip Williams has this report. Bombings and assassinations, the hallmarks of an organisation at war with Spain trying to force independence for the three million Basques. But without warning, three ETA fighters say they've stopped the violence. Now they'll pursue their aims by democratic means. ETA announces that the decision has been taken not to carry out armed offensive actions, to stand by a commitment to a democratic solution through dialogue and negotiation. But the authorities have consistently demanded ETA renounce violence permanently and disarm before any talks with the government can be considered. Local Basque officials have described the offer as insufficient and vague. But some hope this just may be the beginning of the end of a deadly cycle of violence that's seen more than 800 people killed and thousands injured. I think that it's a step forward. I think that it's something really positive and it's something that the Basque society, the Basque people was expecting. Already the Basque region has a large degree of autonomy with a parliament, control of police, education and taxes. The outlawed ETA has been weakened by more effective cooperation by Spanish and French police. More than 700 members are now in prison. The Spanish government has seen it all before. Two previous offers of a permanent ceasefire came to a bloody end. It may mean real progress towards a lasting peace, but history urges caution. Philip Williams, ABC News.